uh, this is my garden pipe uh, water is coming through the pipe and here is a stone a stone having plain surface exactly plain surface but uh, irregular shape so the shape of stone doesn't matter uh, and the mass of the stone is also doesn't matter I can calculate I can also calculate the force of this water jet on the wall by the way uh, let's see how much force this water jet apply on the stone uh, this is the uh, I'm making it a sharp water jet by decreasing the area of this pipe uh, you can say I will uh, I'm going to press it half so the water jet will be half anyway so now you can see a water jet is striking with the stone at very high speed the stone is not changing its position because the force applied by jet is less than the static force of that stone let's try out something different a stone having less ma mass now I'm having a stone having less mass than earlier you can say the stone having flat surface so let me put it here and now you can see the water jet striking to the stone is able to remove the stone from its position how we will calculate the force applied by this jet on the stone okay now let's calculate how much force that water jet uh, have applied on stone so that the stone change its position mm, what was the situation is uh, we have in a rough surface and there is a water jet coming through the pipe uh, within velocity 3 meter per second why 3 meter per second because uh, I have measured the velocity of that stream and that uh, that was 3 meter per second average average in average so I can say the initial velocity of the jet just here is u is equal to 0 and the final velocity of jet or I can say the velocity with which the jet strike to the flat surface is v is equal to 3 meter per second as you know the force is equal to mass into acceleration and the mass into acceleration and the force you can say mass into change in velocity with respect to time so first of all I need mass and then the velocity of the jet here is the mass should be not the mass but the mass flow rate means m dot that is mass flow rate means the mass of the water coming through the pipe per second now the density of the water density of the water is mass y volume so maybe from here I can calculate the mass flow rate per second so the mass is equal to rho into V here V is the volume let's make it volume of the water per second suppose uh, this is the pipe and water flowing in this direction uh, within speed of 3 meter per second uh, of the cross section is uh, cross section area A so the cross section area A multiplied with the velocity give the volume per second why with the velocity suppose for the one second the velocity is 3 meter so suppose from here to here the pipe length is 3 meter and here is the area that is a so a into 3 meter will give the volume of this water that contains in the pipe and this water is flowing in the pipe so that water here will be here outside the pipe after some time so I multiply 
सो आई मल्टीप्लाइड ए विद द थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड फॉर द वन सेकेंड विद द वेलोसिटी सो ए इंटू थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड गिव्स द वॉल्यूम पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज द वॉल्यूम पर सेकेंड हेयर इज द वॉल्यूम पर सेकेंड इट्स मीन्स द मास पर सेकेंड वॉल्यूम पर सेकेंड गिव्स द मास पर सेकेंड द मास पर सेकेंड इज इक्वल टू रो इंटू एरिया इंटू थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड हेयर इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ दिस पाइप थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द वाटर सो एरिया इंटू वेलोसिटी सो हेयर आई हैव एम नोट एम डोट नाउ द फोर्स इज गिवन बाई एम डोट इन टू एक्सलरेशन एंड यू नो एक्सलरेशन इज द चेंज इन वेलोसिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो आई कैन राइट इट इन दिस वे दैट इज मास फ्लोरेट इन टू फर्स्ट वेलोसिटी इनिशियल वेलोसिटी माइन एंड फाइनल वेलोसिटी टाइम दैट गिवस द फोर्स एज यू नो time for 1 second so there had no value here so this will give me the value of m not from here that is rho a v and here the v1 minus v2 v1 minus v2 here is the final velocity minus initial velocity initial velocity is so the force applied by water jet the force applied by water jet on the stone is given by the equation rho a this v1 is equal to v at the final state so this rho a into v square what we have till now is this this equation so the area the cross section here a is the cross section area of water of any fluid that flow through the pipe so here the force applied by the jet is f is equal to 1000 is the density of the water and after calculating i found uh, the volume Uh, the sorry the area the cross section area is 3.84 into 10 raised to power minus 5 meter if if the diameter of the pipe is uh, so uh, area into velocity lst is 3 so 3 square so force is equal to 0.375 newton Thanks for watching. If you think our video is useful, then please subscribe for the channel and uh, and stay updated with me. Thanks a lot.